Meghan Markle is unlikely to be seeking baby advice from mother of three Kate due to the pair not having a close relationship, royal expert Katie Nichol has said. Meghan Markle, who is around eight months pregnant, is likely to have now started her maternity leave with no royal engagements scheduled before she gives birth. Speaking on Entertainment Tonight, Ems Nichol said, if Meghan is looking for advice when it comes to the royal baby then, of course, you know, she doesn't have to look any further than Kate. That said, I don't think that they have the sort of close relationship where Meghan is necessarily seeking advice from Kate. I think the advice that Meghan has been taking has actually been from her close friends, Amal Clooney, Serena Williams, Jessica Moroni. Of course, the friends that she shared her baby shower with. Certainly. She has been talking to them about her plans and how she wanted to raise this baby. The comments come as Meghan and Harry prepare to move to Frogmore Cottage on the grounds of Windsor Castle ahead of the arrival of their first child. Their move to Frogmore Cottage sparked speculation of an alleged rift between Kate and Meghan. But the royal experts said the duchesses have now realized the royal catfight does not help either of them. Ms. Nicol added, and they have really made an effort to put on a united front. And I think that is what we are seeing at yesterday's Commonwealth service. We actually saw Kate kiss Meghan hello then when they greeted each other and there was a really warm energy between the two of them. Kensington Palace announced on Thursday that both the Cambridges and Sussexes have officially split their royal households. In a major seal of approval. The Queen gave permission for Meghan and Harry to base their new household office at Buckingham Palace while William and Kate will remain at Kensington Palace. The royal commentator said there is likely to be less of the so-called Fab Four together at future engagements. She added, we will see them doing those things together. But I think we are increasingly going to see the Sussexes doing their thing, the Cambridges doing their thing. The instruction I am told from the top which is with Prince William is that there is to be no treading on toes. There is plenty of work for all of them but they are each going to carve their own niche." Sarah Latham, who previously served on Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign team, will lead communications for Meghan and Harry, while Christian Jones is now communications secretary to William and Kate. Jason Knopf has also been announced as senior advisor to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Meghan and Harry will also appoint new staff, who will report to the Queen's Communications Secretary Donald McCabe. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will remain at Kensington Palace, where Prince Harry currently has his own private office with Meghan, until their team is in place, Buckingham Palace confirmed. In a statement, a Buckingham Palace spokesperson said, the Queen has agreed to the creation of a new household for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, following their marriage in May last year. The household, which will be created with the support of the Queen and the Prince of Wales, will be established in the spring.